All right, I know we've covered a lot of material over the last week, so I'm going to spend uh, 10, 15 minutes talking about some of this to help you in your review. So our focus is on understanding how we can measure the initial velocity of an enzyme catalyzed reaction. And it begins with the, the fact that product concentration, this is product concentration, increases over time. Um, sometimes, in some cases, fairly rapid increase in the amount of product generated. And then that increase begins to taper off. So remember we're looking at product concentration on the Y. This tapers off as effect effectively we begin to form an enzyme substrate complex that can only go to product and all of the enzymes involved. And this is why we no longer generate more product because the enzyme is saturated with the substrate. So if we're looking at time, this occurs, then we can measure the rate. This would be the rate at which this generation of product occurs. This rate is equivalent to V0. If we apply the Michaelis Minton assumptions, and um, the number one assumption is that the ES complex is at steady state. That the change of the con in the concentration of our ES complex per unit time is equal to zero. Uh, another assumption is that the uh, breakdown of the ES complex is greater than making product. So we measure this breakdown by what's K minus 1. K is the rate constant. And K2 is the rate of formation of product. And so as long as our K1 is much, much greater than our K2, then we can assume an equilibrium between the formation of ES and the breakdown of ES. And we can also determine this formation would be K1. We can also determine the affinity um, of our enzyme to our substrate. If we just simply take the rates of the breakdown divided by the rate of the formation, okay, that gives us an affinity. So when this ratio um, is, is fairly high, that means that our breakdown is greater. Therefore, the affinity is, is, is low because if I draw it like this with a big arrow, our um, enzyme substrate complex tends to want to separate after it forms. So we have a low affinity for enzyme substrate. And of course, the opposite is if our K minus 1 over K1 is low, that means our denominator is large and so affinity is high. So
So I'm going to go ahead and transition here. And the Cayley's Mitten equation measures our initial velocity and it actually is computed by using our maximum velocity and our substrate concentration a constant called Km and the Cayley's constant plus the substrate concentration so remembering the Cayley's constant relates all those um, K values K1, K minus 1 plus K2 over K1. Okay, Km operationally, that means in the experiment, uh, is equal to the concentration of substrate uh, giving you 50% um, uh, of the maximum velocity. If we look at our Cayley's Mitten plot that we drew earlier, okay, now we're looking at a number of different initial velocities versus substrate. Km then would be half of the maximum velocity, which would be about here. Okay. And that's the substrate concentration that gives you the half maximum blood important. K2 determines the efficiency or the um, how well that enzyme converts substrate to product. K2 is approximately equal to uh, K what's called the catalytic constant. Okay, and the catalytic constant simply takes the maximum velocity of that catalyzed reaction. Okay, when the substrate is saturated, saturating the enzyme, the enzyme at its total concentration divided into that maximum velocity gives us the rate determine the absolute efficiency of the second order reaction by taking K cat and dividing it by Km. Okay, Km Emax uh, can be determined from plotting data like this, substrate concentration and initial velocity by taking the what's called the double reciprocal of the Michaelis Minton plot. When we do that you get a line. So on the x-axis we're looking at one over substrate concentration. On the y-axis, we're looking at 1 over V0. The points will be kind of aggregated here. And then by taking the linear regression, we get an equation, we get a line that intersects the y and the x-axis. The double reciprocal plot looks like this, 1 over V0. Taking V0, taking the reciprocal. And if we take the reciprocal of this equation, then we're going to end up with Km over Vmax times 1 over S plus 1 over Vmax. Understanding most of the foundation.